Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be discussing all the things that haven't been announced about Animal Crossing New Horizons, or at least the things we can extrapolate from using limited information. Before we get any further, quick disclaimer about this video! Now that that's out of the way, yes, there's still an awful lot about Animal Crossing New Horizons that we still don't know. A lot of characters that we know are in it, but yet we don't know what their role is or how their previous roles are going to be integrated into the new game. There's lots of questions. Many questions. I'm afraid you're also going to be looking at my face a lot of the time because Th this is about stuff that hasn't been announced, so we don't actually have footage for it, so... Nah. But anyway, that's more than enough waffling, let's dive right into things. First item on the big chunking list that me and some of my colleagues put together, big thanks to you guys by the way, where the bloomin' heck is Blathers? We know because of promotional material that Blathers is going to be in it, also the idea that Blathers wouldn't be in a mainline Animal Crossing game, at least these days is kind of bazonkers and completely out there and just wouldn't happen. And, you know, in all likelihood he's most likely still going to be curating a museum, or have something to do with, you know, fish and fossils and bugs and things like that. But a big issue is that the island that we're going to be going to is the whole idea is it's, it's kind of the deserted island getaway, you know, it, it, there's nothing there, there is no big museum-based building. I mean, well, there's numerous possibilities that it could be. I mean, we could build a museum, but at the same time, I don't really think people are going to want to be holding on to a load of fish and bugs and fossils just to donate them later on when they've progressed through the game enough to build a museum, which I'm assuming, given the fact that you're building things like flimsy axes and pole vaulting poles, the idea of building a museum seems like it's going to be quite a long time, unless it starts off and it's very rustic or something, which could be a possibility. However, I think it is also possibly likely that we're going to be seeing him on a different island. We're surrounded by water. There's got to be other islands nearby. I mean, that doesn't has to, that is, it has to be? They don't have to be, but there could well be. It may not even be that we're on a single island. We could be on some sort of lovely archipelago, but that may be jumping a little bit too far forward. Another thing, maybe we could like send them off through some sort of courier service or some sort of like live chat thing on the Nook phone. Hey Blathers mate, what's this fossil at? But that's a, that's a bit rubbish. I don't like that idea. What is Isabel's role? We know she's in there. We, we I mean, they've not exactly been hiding the fact she's basically the face of the franchise now. What's her role? What's she actually gonna do? We know that Tom Nook is basically in charge of the whole thing, being kind of like the island dictator. Maybe Isabel is his assistant? I mean, it's not really indicative of anything really, but we did see her in the trailer that had the like, the, the sort of the cutscene showing. Ah, and here, reveal guys, I forgot, like conference type thing, it's like a timeshare thing they did. It, you'll actually be looking at it now because I'm very bad at describing. It's possible that she'll still be responsible for like uh, public works projects and stuff like that, but at the moment it all seems a little bit, you know, Isabel has only had one major role in a game, being Animal Crossing New Leaf. She could be doing anything right now. I imagine the role that she's going to have is going to be relatively major. And then I think about it, didn't they say something along the lines of like, Isabel will be in it, but it, depending on whether she shows up depends on your actions or something? Hmm. Big thing. Why hasn't Lyle been officially announced yet? There's got to be something like island insurance, must be? Or travel insurance? Bang. There's no shops at the moment either. Like, I mean, I, I mean, we've got like uh, Tom Nook and, you know, he's selling a couple of bits and he's got a few bits and bobs there. But we've got things like retail, which I don't know whether that's coming back. And, you know, all the things like kicks and, you know, shampoodle. There's so many facilities that we just... We don't know about, are they going to be things that we put in later? Are they going to be like other islands again? Maybe there's another major island we go to that is kind of like a shopping district, kind of like Main Street. I, all I know is that that's a fairly major part of Animal Crossing and I don't think they'd strike it off just yet. There's also the baby characters, like uh, on some promotional materials, like I think on uh, the back of some sort of uh, some decal that goes on the back of the Switch, they had things like Baby Chip and Baby Joan, or at least Baby ish like creatures that look like them. That sounded a bit sinister. Are they gonna be direct replacements because Chip and Joan don't want to travel to the island? I've... 
We've got so many questions, and that's what the entire video is about. It may even be that Joan and Chip have new roles now, for doing something, shops, whatever, and these, you know, sort of newer, younger characters are taking up their old roles, like the stalk market and fishing tourneys and stuff like that. I, d I don't know. I don't actually have a lot of uh, thoughts on this one, because... There's a lot of items. Is Tortima actually dead, or was it just a wonderful dream I had? I like the idea of digging him up as a fossil and sticking him in a museum. I kind of touched on this one earlier. Yes, is it just the one island we're going to be on, or is it going to be some sort of archipelago where there are going to be smaller islands around? You know, is it going to be randomly generated so you've got the main island that's your thing and then smaller islands when they can be in oh, any order? You know, we just don't know at the moment, but, you know, right now it seems very much like... The, the main, well, the island that we're on seems very much kind of like your own little project area, and I don't know whether you'd want to necessarily fill that area with your kind of thing. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe maybe I'm talking rubbish. But it's an interesting idea, and it would help to really re-emphasize the idea of being on an island, you know, that you have to travel by boat or, you know, whatever. I mean, maybe fast traveling? I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Are we still going to be able to make our own clothes? The answer is probably yes, because it's quite a big part of Animal Crossing now, just generally doing designs and things like that. But Mabel, Sable, Lebel, Label, whatever you want to call her, are they going to be there? Or are they going to be maybe something you can do over the phone or something, or design on your Nook phone? That would probably make the most sense, and you can do it anywhere then. Oof, I don't know, there's numerous things that they could do with that because it's not necessarily, it doesn't have to be tied down to like the sewing machine or talking to someone because it's just a design at the end of the day, isn't it? And maybe you can just be on the phone and you can order shirts and they, they arrive in your letterbox immediately thanks to, uh, uh, thanks to Pete flying, swooping down and going, here's your post, sir. We still don't know if wetsuits are going to be in the game. I imagine diving's got to be in there. We're on a bloody island, for goodness sake. And if there are other islands, swim to them, bub. And that'd be a good way of kind of like sort of maybe slightly closing off certain areas, you know? You just have to wait until you can get the wetsuit and then whoosh, you can go to other areas. Natural game progression. We still don't know what's at the back of the island, and one of my colleagues has just suggested a rocky cliff of death. I don't know whether that was Zeon or Austin, but thanks. Festivals and holidays! They're obviously going to be coming back again, very integral part, but we're going to get some new ones. Are we going to get something like Pancake Day, which I... <laughs> Shrove Tuesday. Is that a thing in America? It is over here, we just have pancakes. It was religious at some point, apparently. Maybe that's what Isabel's role is. She runs the festivals and things like that. Or at least, that's what one of my colleagues suggested in, in the list, which was very useful. Happy Home stuff, yeah, the Happy Home Academy is, uh, has been, been around, you know, it's been in every single game, I doubt they drop it. It's a, I, It never really interested me much. I quite liked Happy Home Designer, though, when I think I'm slightly in the minority with that. <laughs> I did enjoy Happy Home Designer more than most people, I think. I've never really massively seen the point in the Happy Home Academy, but I, I can't see them dropping it. It's too simple a thing, too much of a staple. So I'm guessing it's probably just the same as it was before. Or maybe they judge the entire island! The Happy Island Academy. I'm also really hoping we get a lot of new stuff that we got in stuff like Happy Home Designer, you know, things like windows and light fittings and things like that, because that was, that was easily the best part of the game, the fact that it managed to open things up so enormously. It was very, very tasty indeed, and if they don't include that sort of stuff, it will feel like a bit of a step backwards, bit of a slap in the face and nobody likes a slap in the face. Where the bloomin' heck is the dream suite? Maybe it's the online save thing because you can upload your town to it. That was... that was a quick one. Why the bloody hell hasn't Brewster been confirmed already? Is he on the promotional stuff? I, I haven't seen him and I've been keeping an eye out. Admittedly, I've seen so much now, it's all starting to blur together, but... Where's Brewster? They've got to include him. He was one of my favourites. He's one of the few that I would, like, actually get a plush of because he's he's lovely. I just like his coffee. I like the music. Blum, 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 blum. I've already kind of covered Shampoodle. Hopefully more hair. One of the little, like, graphics on the back of the limited edition Switch, you know, the one that looks like this. One of those is a sailboat. Are we going to be able to use a sailboat? Or maybe it's just Cap'n taking us around or something like that. Either way, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm down with sailboats. 
I mean, given that we're on an island, it's not terribly surprising, and it might just be a thematic thing, but who knows? Nintendo knows. A home expansion's gonna work in the same way, because we know we start off with a tent, but we do know that we can later get, you know, like a house and everything. At least I'm pretty, pretty damn sure we know that. I wouldn't mind a different method of house expansion. I wouldn't mind something a little bit more distinctive. Every time you go into a different room in, um, in Animal Crossing New Leaf, every room kind of looks the same, and I know obviously it's down to you to design it and everything, but it's just a box. Could we maybe do something, maybe we could create our own layouts, you know, with a maximum number of squares and things like that, and we could create weirdly long rooms, or weirdly wide rooms, or just really tiny rooms. That would be, that would be more interesting. Maybe you could actually, like, design the floor layout and you could change it at any time for a princely sum, no doubt. Changing the outsides as well, beyond just like the roof and the exterior and color and stuff like that. You know, like gardens and things like that. I know we can just place things down, but can we maybe like actually have like a fenced off area? Or maybe we can just sort of create our own if we like, and we can make the entire island our own personal garden. That would be, <laughs> I'd like that. We know Amiibo's in it, but we still don't know how it's gonna work. How's Amiibo going to work? Well, my money is on like crossover stuff like it has done before, you know? Like y you scan in a uh, Link Amiibo and you get like a, a Link statue or a Link like hat or something, you know, any number of things. I, I think that's probably the most sensible solution and you know if you've got like the Animal Crossing villager cards I've got some where are you by gar safely protected in their protective bag so for example we could scan in Caesar and have Caesar pop up or or, or Kitty or, or Nat <laughs> basically very similar if not exactly the same as what we've seen in Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo you know Nate, it's in the name. What other new types of animal are we going to see? We've already seen on, on the back the decal again that revealed maybe more than Nintendo wanted to. Some sort of lizard type thing, like maybe some kind of salamander or chameleon. There's quite a bit of sort of disparity in what people think it is. But either way, that's exciting. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I like the villagers that we've got, but I'm a little bit tired of seeing, seeing the same animals over and over again. Maybe a snake villager. That would be bonkers. They don't have any arms. All they can do is just slither around and go, S hello, Alex. What kind of levels of tools are we going to see? You know, we, we still don't know whether we, I mean, we know that we're going to get flimsy stuff at least, but I assume we're going to be able to upgrade them or at least create sort of newer versions of it proper typical crafting game style. So, you know, rather than using wood, you can use stone and create a stone axe and things like that. What what are they going to do? You know, there weren't that many sort of upgrades with, um, with the original tools. You got things like the golden shovel and things like that. But even so, I'd kind of like to see maybe a little bit more than just being able to plant money trees because we've got the crafting system, maybe they have a durability meter. Maybe it's Breath of the Wild. This is a bit of a strange one, but um, the, the the NES games back from the day, you know, sort of the idea of having, you'd have like a, a NES console or NES, whatever you want to call it. Nintendo Entertainment System. Slap one of those bad boys in your house and you can walk up to it and play an old game. I, uh, I didn't come up with this idea, but the idea of just being able to do that and just having access to the games that are part of Nintendo Switch Online, Nintendo Entertainment System, it might be the other way around, I forget. It wouldn't be a big thing, but it would be quite nice to be able to play those games just as a bit of a reprieve or something without actually closing the game. And again, only if you've got access to Nintendo Switch Online. I don't think that would be that unreasonable. Or maybe you could like just get some sort of like multi arcade thing. You get a big arcade, you slap it down, you can play anything from the Nintendo Switch Online library. It just kind of like pulls it from just well the software on your system and you know it checks to see whether you can do that in the same way that it checks whether you've got you know an online connection and whether you, whether you've got nintendo switch online more to the point when you're playing things like splatoon or super mario maker and if you don't it just goes hey guy you're gonna need one of them there was also a shelf item that had a purple gamecube in it in previous games let me play that too says probably austin Maybe Zeon. We know that eating fruit gives you stamina. Are there going to be other things that we can eat? Because, yeah, you, you could eat fruit before and it didn't really do anything. Did it? I distinctly remember being able to eat a peach in Wild World and then I was just 100 bells down. Given that there's already an infrastructure for crafting, maybe we can cook meals as well. That would be really interesting and maybe you have to, um, maybe you can eat a meal and it allows you to swim further with the wetsuit or something. 
or something like that. Oh, there's many options that we could do with this, but yeah, I mean, there's, you know, already loads of kitchen items and stuff like that that have been basically entirely useless. I think you could turn a tap on on a sink that's on some of them, but I like this idea. I like the idea of a Stardew-like system where you can eat foods to get a boost, even though there isn't really much. Maybe you could, it could make you uh, run faster. Oh, run faster. Eat a, eat a, a, a healthy ham sandwich. Run faster. This is a bit of a big one, at least it is for me in Animal, Animal. In Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, we were able to build things like schools and like uh, uh, kitchens and restaurants and things like that. Are we gonna be able to do that again in this? Because yeah, you can kind of do it in your own home, but to be able to create like a custom building and you can just have whatever you want in there and maybe you can say this is a restaurant and you know you you'll get some sort of chef character who comes in and you can you know walk up to them and talk to them and say hey would you like a meal and you can eat a ham sandwich and run faster that would be really cool i'd really like to see some kind of like generic buildings that you can build and as long as they meet certain requirements like you know they've got a till they've got tables they've got a kitchen that kind of thing and lastly when I spend five years building my island that has no cloud saves and inevitably wreck or lose my Switch and or game card, will Nintendo pay for the funeral? That gives you an idea of how long ago we read this. And there you have it. That is everything that we could think of that has not yet been fully announced or revealed or detailed in whatever fashion for Animal Crossing New Horizons. We've no doubt missed something because Animal Crossing is a big old game. If you're still waiting on some information, let us know your thoughts down there in the commentos. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I've got a little tip for you. Grab a shovel, that subscribe button. It's the money subscribe button for the day. Whack it. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>